So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys, based on the time zones you all are coming from. So, guys, before we start with the session, can you all please give me a quick confirmation if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well? Perfect. Thank you for confirmation, everyone. So my name is Neeraj Kheria and I have been working in this IT industry for more than 13 years now. So to be a part of these webinars group, we can also have a Eureka Masterclass community. So the best part about these webinars are they are absolutely free of course and they are again going to be a really great platform for anyone who is looking to get started in this industry vertical by learning the technologies. So to be a part of this group and to get notified with the entire schedule that has been planned for the next four days, we can click on join this group and then we will be getting notified on the webinars on different topics, including blockchain, IOT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and, and multiple backend and front end development frameworks. So the main agenda is we are going to discuss on the concepts of the file handling by Python. So as a part of discussion, we are today, we are going to focus on how exactly files are handled in Python, how we can get started on that. So let's just some of the topics that we are going to cover. So first of all, we are going to focus on how the file handling works in Python and what are different type of files that we can handle. And then we can find, and then we are going to look at the file handling system. And then if the time allows, then we are also going to look at a small hands-on as well. So that is what we are going to focus on as a part of today's session. So we know that Python again is one of the most demanding programming languages of all time. So using Python, again, Python has been one of the main languages used for data science because first of all, Python is the easiest language to start with. So and Python has multiple inbuilt libraries available so that we can use those libraries for getting the access to multiple classes and multiple projects so that we don't have to work on design those functions from scratch and python is basically a high level object oriented programming language and it was developed in 1991 by rossum and then its syntax is similar to the english language and that is why it enhances the code readability itself all right so if we talk about fine handling, then first of all, now we can understand this by a small example. Let's say we want our Python script to fetch data from the internet and then process that data. So now if our data is small, then this processing can be done every time we run the script. But in case of humongous data, repetitive processing cannot be performed. And hence the process data needs to be stored and this is where data storage comes into play. So one thing to note while writing data to a file is that its consistency and integrity should be maintained. And once we have stored our data, our data on a file, and now that the most important thing is its retrieval, because in computer it's stored as bits of ones and zeros. And if it's, and if its retrieval is not done properly, then it becomes completely useless and data is said to be corrupted and that's why we have to handle that's why we need to have a good file management system that we want to work with and in terms of python input we have two things here we have arguments and then we have standard inputs and then we have the input output so basically how to write a file using python first of all we have to open a file to write and we have to append and write into a, uh, to a file and then we have to close the file itself that's how it works so first of all, there are multiple types of files available. First, now we have to know what kind of file we are going to write here. So in Windows, we have files in the format of images, text, executables, audio clips, documents, PDFs, and whatnot. Whereas if we talk about Python, then again in Python we have either binary or text data sets that we can write. So as we discussed, what exactly file handling is? So file handling is basically an important part of any web application. So it allows us to not only handle files, but also perform multiple CRUD operations as in create, read, update, and delete as well. So if we talk about the Python file handling system, then the key function for working with files in Python is the open function. So by using open, we can define what kind of file we want to define. For example, first of all, we have to open a file 
we have to create a file in case we are we are working on files locally then we have to create a file first and then we start adding files one by one that's how it works so first of all we have to create a file then we have to open a file in case we are not the file owners and we have to open it and then only we can work on reading those files suppose if we have multiple data sources if the file is not available locally so we have to read the file and that is where we have to perform these kind of read operations and then by using open we can have to define the file name and then we also have to define the file mode as well so there are multiple modes that we have defined for example we want to open the file only in the read mode or we want to make changes then we also have to open the file and that to in read and write mode both so that is something that we have to configure all right and the main syntax that now we are also going to look at how we can work with the actual syntax when we are going to work with it so in addition we can specify if the file should be handled as a binary or text mode as we discussed we have defined the file as t t it stands for text and b stands for binary so and then the key function for working with files in python is the open function as we discussed so the method is going to be defined open the file name and then we have defined the mode so the open function returns the instance of the file that you open to work on and it takes two primarily arguments file name and mode so there are four modes in total we have r a w and x r stands for read so this is the default value it is used if you want to open or we can we want to read from a file w is again stands for something for write so if you want to write to a file erasing completely previous data then we have a a stands for append so if you want to append to a previously written file let's say we want to make multiple changes x stands for create if you want to just create a file and then we discussed t and b is for text and for binary file for example binary includes images and text includes the default text values so we can write any code for handling the file system as well so for example we can define file f open and then we can define demo file and then we can define demo file.txt in case you want to define a path and let's say here we can define f open demo file.txt and then we can define the mode in which you want to open it up for example we are going to work on let's say on a simple jupyter notebook so let's say we can open up a jupyter notebook we can work with pycharm or any other ids we want let's say we want to work on notebooks so let's open this up so here we are going to work on a simple jupyter notebook let's say here we want to read the content of a simple text file so let's say we want to create a simple text file first of all let's say we define anything as welcome to Eureka. a single line let's save it let's give it a name as suppose sample.txt we define name as sample.txt file and uh, let's say we go ahead and create a new notebook so for opening any file here so for example we can define any data frame as well and then by defining the data frame we can define what exactly needs to be executed so here now here for working on any file system here we can define any file for example here we can define this as f3 and for opening a file here we can define open and then as we discussed it is going to take two different arguments first of all the name of the file let's say we want to open up sample.txt and let's say here we want to open the file and that too let's say here we want to open it in the image then that has to be in the binary format if we just want to read it then here we can define the format suppose as r r as we know stands for read mode if we are not looking to make any changes we are looking just to read the file then we can define the format as r and if we execute this then the simple file is going to be opened up and again that is going to contain the same text format that we had defined all right so that is what we can define as simple argument for opening a sample tasty file and that now let's suppose if you want to read an image for example we may have the access supposed uh, sample.png we have sample.png and if you want to read that image and that too in the binary mode then we would have specified r and b to be defined as a binary mode and then the image would be have been opened up in case there was an image by the name of sample.png in case there was an image available in the same folder that we have defined all right so for example suppose we have a black and white image for dog suppose here we have by the name of copy lena so here we can define the path as suppose copy for lena so again a simple file available 
if we want this file to be opened up so here we can find the file name and if the file exists then this is going to be opened up and read and that too in the format of binary so we already have a file name by the name of copylina.jpg so this is basically the black and white image of the dog that we have used for working on our data science project so this is what we defined by opening an image as well and that too in the binary format so as we discussed it takes two arguments for handling the files and then there are multiple file operations available for reading so that's how we can work with the files here in case we want to read text files in python then there are a lot of ways to read a text file in python we can define all characters some characters and then let's say here once we have opened the file now we want to read it so here we have to define print file dot read so the file that we has that has been opened up that is also going to be displayed as well so for example let's say we want to keep it to our sample.txt file so we can replace this to sample.txt we want to read it as a simple r format and again suppose if the if it was in the binary format then we could have defined binary and now let's suppose we want to open this file so here we can define print file.read and then here we have to define the, the file that we want to read here and that is going to be the file we have opened up and once we execute this this is going to read the file and then whatever file we have read that is going to be opened up okay we have defined the file as fp right so here we can define fp.read because there is nothing as file we have defined fp and that is going to be read all right so next we have how we can do see if not for example, suppose here we want to read a specific character, okay, as a simple index value or a specific line, then we can define the index value as 5. And again, basically, the, the index value that as in the line is going to be read in terms of the line itself. If you want to read a specific line out of the given file, then we can define the line and then the line number. For example, we want to read the lines in terms of, uh, suppose, the third line, the fifth line, then we can define read line and then we can define the line number so let's say if we, if we have a print we have a file and we have text in different lines for example currently in a sample text we only have one line let's say in second line we have we are learning python suppose here we have python file handling so now we have content in different lines so we can save it so now if we want to read specific lines here, so here we have to simply define file one and then we can define read line. If you want to read all the lines, then we can define read lines with an S or if you want to read a specific line, then we can define the, let's suppose we want to read line number five as Python, then we have to define line number as well. So this is going to ensure that this is going to read the file that we had defined and that by the file name. That is how it is going to behavior next we can define the looping over file object as well so let's suppose if we want to be we want to make it fast and efficient so if you want to loop over the given object here so you can find file open and then we want to define for line n in files we want to keep on reading lines here so here we can define print file read line and then it is going to start reading from lines as long as the line doesn't and so just suppose there are five lines eight lines ten lines and that is going to be used for reading the entire content that's how it is going to work so for example suppose now for example let's suppose if we use read lines right so let's say we go back to our code here we have print lines suppose suppose let's say here we want to read lines so let's say we add a, we forgot the parenthesis here suppose here we find print and then file or read line suppose if we run this then basically it is going to, to run and scan through all the available lines so we have welcome to Eureka. we are learning python files handling so these are all the lines that have been printed but again if you want to define a condition based on after that all the lines available are going to get printed then that is what we are going to do here so here we are opening the files in read mode we have to open the files that means now currently we are reading the files we want to show the output correct that's why we are using read lines we want to show the output that's why using the read line because we want to display the output by using the read function all right if you want to write it then we can write then we can use the write mode and then we would be able to write the file as well in case you want to make some changes for example let's say we want to write something in this text file so what we can do we can find the path 
and here let's say we want to write something so here we can do use suppose as a wt write and that to in the text format and then we can define suppose let's say here we want to use a simple loop in terms of ranges so here we can define let's say for suppose here we can define for in range suppose in range we can define the range suppose as 10 and within this range we can define suppose here we can use here we have file so here we can find file dot write and we can define whatever we want to write here so let's suppose here we want to write as learning how to write and read files in python so here we have the line that you want to add and then once we uh, then we can simply define file dot close and then if you want to read the file that has been written so again we can define friend and then this friend has to include the file that we have written so again the same function that we define friend read now file dot read because here define file dot read in case we have different different uh, we can say the data frame created then we can define the different frames as well so here we have file dot read lines if we want to read all the lines or we want to read a specific line then we can define the line path and that is going to be read accordingly so we have ran the loop f we have 10 uh, no, here we define this as 10 times that means now we have ran a loop for 10 times to write this line as learning how to write re and read files in python thank you so much for joining guys and have a great day ahead take care bye bye